All right, thank you, Tony. Now at 5.30, we're taking a look back at Pope Francis's time in America. New at 5.30 tonight, we're learning more about the security preparations that took place while the Pope was here. You might remember this. It was an incident involving a five-year-old girl. Sophie Cruz broke through security and rushed up to the Pope during his parade in Washington, delivering him a message about the plight of immigrants living in the country illegally. Well, come to find out the incident was planned for more than a year by an L.A.-based immigrant rights group. But were there any major security problems? Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us now in studio to recap the security that was put into place from Washington to Philadelphia. At least by looking at it on the uh, outskirts, General, everything seemed to go to, as planned. I think it was amazing. I was very pleased with the uh, final outcome, obviously. And, you know, what we didn't see is probably the majority part of the plan. Uh, but what you did see was professional, well executed, and it was just a rolling physical security plan all the way from, uh, obviously, D.C. up through New York and uh, into Philly. So I was very pleased with seeing it executed the way it was. All right, talk about that rolling security. So they had security in place in all three cities, but then there was a security team that kept moving along, right? right? You had the core of the security plan consisting of the Vatican, uh, apparently FBI, some Secret Service, and other, you know, uh, functional people. And they went with the entire um, uh, contingent as it left one city to another. But what you didn't see was the things that were already in place. And as you come through, they fell in place, executed what they had to do, went to another place, and so on and so forth. So it was a well-executed plan, well thought out, and well uh, coordinated. Well, uh, I was in Philly. I actually talked to some of the guard. They, they were just about on every street corner. They told me they were doing 12-hour shifts. They were in a support uh, mode, right? Right. I talked to the New York National Guard uh, this morning before I got here, put in several calls to uh, Pennsylvania and D.C. But I can make a uh, uh, somewhat of a, a judgment saying that they were basically all the same. What, the guard is always in a support role, supporting the local police and state police. And what you saw there was exercising traffic control, communications, and obviously the contingency, should it be needed, was in a reserve position, able to come to the support uh, had it been needed. But I didn't see any of that, and uh, clearly it was a, a, a well-thought-out plan. Uh, everybody had a part in it, and it, wo it worked well. It was interesting. You could see the health helicopters and the planes in the air, then you knew he was coming That's just right. a few minutes later. That's the right. general has more on that on our website. You can go to WPRI.com.